Very Thank good. You. Thank, thanks, Gary. Appreciate it. Hey, Delta, I see you. You, you. For some reason, I missed you on the screen. You must have got kicked off and back in. Hey, Delta, can you come on? Can you open up your? Uh... There you go. Can you hear me, Delta? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. I can hear you really good. The reason I want Delta in here is Delta has. Delta really has a great story. I, I think it's a story that him and Cindy, we, Cindy was the best, one of the best friends of my wife, and they went to the same school together. And uh, we've been friends for decades, <laughs> and they, they now live in Arkansas. Uh, and... Uh, and Cindy is who I called up that night on the way home from Georgia's. And and Delton, help me out a little bit because uh, y'all had zero savings at that time. You had a lot of expenses. You had a lot of bills to pay. That really is one of the reasons you were still working so long and hard. Is that true? That's correct. Had a lot of medical bills. Lots of medical bills, yes, and uh, fortunately, uh, uh, Cindy's gone through a lot of medical procedures and problems uh, over the last uh, 10 plus years, uh, and, and so it wasn't that you had extra money, the reason you joined 7K, and the reason you did a business family pack, you did a business family pack after you got home and called me up uh, after you got home from work later that night, correct? That's correct. Okay, so Cindy got the basic membership and you got the other two membership and one on your left and one on your right. And uh, and we went to work, didn't we, Delta? Yes, sir. And uh, it wasn't fast for you, was it? Oh, no. No, no, because I, I just had precious little time to do anything. That's right. And and it took you quite a while before we made the first paycheck, right? Right. And let, why, don't, why don't you tell, because, see, you're still a member, and you <clears throat> still have your business family pack. In fact, oh, yeah. you, you have always bought a coin on all three of those memberships since day one, haven't you? That's correct. I just made it happen. You made it happen when it was very difficult financially, didn't you? Oh, no. yes, sir. It really was. <laughs> Especially in that first year. It was real difficult, wasn't it, for to oh, buy yeah. three, three coins every month? Yes, it really was. It was really hard until I started getting a, a check occasionally from 7K that helped, you know. So... Tell us the result of seven and a half years of you putting whatever little time you had into it in the beginning while you were working. You were still working 60, 70 hour work weeks, aren't you? Oh, yes, sir. You, you, when did you retire? You just retired, didn't you, Delta? Six weeks ago. Six weeks ago. How old are you, my friend? 75. Wait a minute. I want everybody to hear this. Delton just retired six weeks ago, working 60, 70 hour work weeks, and he's 75. Yep. Delton, <coughs> you made it a priority to do 7K, though, you to slip it in in the cracks of the day, wherever, whenever you could, didn't you? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, I always uh, at work. You know, I, I've I've got several people in from work. Uh, it got to the point before I retired. Anybody had questions about Golden Trail, they'd come look me up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was I was known at that factory as somebody that dealt with gold and silver. <laughs> <laughs> you you were you were the factory gold and silver guru, right? <laughs> like, yeah, I, I had talked about all of them. They knew what what I was doing. They knew what you were doing. So, see, Delton did what he was supposed to do. He talked to everybody. 
even the people he worked with, even the people he worked for. Yeah. Okay. Delton. Now, obviously, you became a silver, you and Cindy, you were silver associates. And uh, so you earned some income. And in the beginning, when y'all started making those regular paychecks, Cindy wanted to spend them, didn't you? I remember that conversation I had. Oh, yeah. Cindy. Yes, she did. <laughs> so, what did I tell y'all? Y'all need what do I teach? What do I teach? You told me I needed to put that back into my business. And, and you need you need to have yeah. how much in your seven K cash to, account? I, yes, I needed to have a, enough in there to pay for my corner of the month. I tried to make sure I had enough in there to pay my corner of the month for at least six months. That's right. Minimum six months and I like and, uh, better a year if possible. But I never but, we have never spent one penny of our commission check. That's right. You you reinvested in your business and yourself, correct? Yes, exactly. And so after seven and a half plus years now, do you have a savings today, Delta? Oh yeah. Not 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 through no bank though. So tell <laughs> us a little bit about your savings. I got uh we got uh, about 700, I think, and about 750 uh, uh, coins, uh, usematic coins in, in our stack and sale. Uh, and then we've got about, oh, about 175,000 in bullion. So what's your market value, your current market value about your stack and sell about? My stack and sell is like 120 something thousand. So you have almost $300,000 in real money yeah, in savings. Uh, yeah, just a little over 250. And, and uh, I'll tell you what, Bob. When I lost this income that I give up six weeks ago, it is a real good feeling to know that I have that to fall mm. back on. That's called security, isn't it, Delta? Oh, definitely. And it you is, know uh, that if the government prints up more money, that it only makes what you have in your hands worth more, correct? Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, it doesn't it make it worth it, less. It, it's increased dramatically since I started. Uh, mm. So some of the coins that we first got in bullion, is, is they went up probably 75%, uh, the bullion coins. That's correct. Uh, and, uh, you know, we can, we can live from day to day, whatever we need on my Social Security and pensions and stuff like that. But if we have a catastrophe, we got something to fall back on. Not that I'm planning on having that, because I think I've got most of that covered too, as far as doctor bills and stuff like that. So, but it's just so comforting to know that I've got that to back me up. And if it hadn't have been for you, Bob, all I'd have right now is my little Social Security check and my little pension check. Well. We we made a great team. Y'all helped us. We helped you. We worked together as a team because you becoming a silver helped Pamela become a gold. And and that 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 went a long way, especially when she had Wayne Clark on her other side. Because yeah. I gave Wayne to Pamela. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so uh that that helped us, helped you, and that's part of teamwork, everyone. That yeah. just I wanted to do a re little bit of history. I was hoping to to add that to the end of my my training here, but we get to do it here in this session. I'm yeah. gonna find somebody to help edit a video for me because I just <laughs> want this part with yeah. Delton. You know, uh, Delton Bob, and his testimony. You know, this while ago when you first started the meeting, you said what a risk it was to start this new business when we did. 
Uh, and for most companies, it is. But I knew Bob Reed. I trusted Bob Reed. And I knew that Bob Reed was going to do his homework. That's the reason I never questioned it at all. I jumped in with both feet. <laughs> so anyway, I, I just can't thank you enough, Bob. And we can't thank you and Cindy enough. And y'all remain in our prayers, especially Cindy. And yeah, uh, we're, we're we, going through we, a real rough time right now. And I'm, I'm hanging on to my 7K and hoping that things will loosen up for me a little bit because I'm pretty consumed right now with other things. Yeah, I know. And I want to thank you. Thank you so much, Delton. Everybody, I'm going to have to, since I, I have this on here, I'm going to have to share my screen one more time. Uh, and I'm going to, I'm going to have to put up my income disclosure because we, we did talk about income and, and, uh, results and Delton and Cindy have had tremendous results, but it came about through actually following a plan, doing what was required, making the commitment, having the belief and sticking to it through thick and thin. Even when it was difficult, I want y'all to understand what Delton just said, they had zero savings. They were living paycheck to paycheck when they joined this business. And Delton went ahead and jumped in with the business family pack as soon as he got home and made and kept buying three coins every month. Now, let me tell you, that's hard. Because I know I went through that period with them without making a check. Making that a part of their budget was a huge sacrifice. A huge sacrifice. But look at the return that it gave them. Because they've even helped the rest of the story is their son, John, well, Cindy's son, Delton, they're, they're, this is their second, they're in their second marriage, but they, they've been married. And Lori, John and Lori, he's a truck driver. They've earned an extra income built up through this also as part of their family. And they have a chance to change their future if they follow what Delton and Cindy, the path that Delton and Cindy has laid before them. They set a great example. If their children follow it, they're not in control of it, but they set the example. And they will be leaving this as a legacy for them to further improve their financial lives and future if they are willing to do the work. But if they're not willing to do the work, it will just be there. But they have li lifetime legacy memberships. And as long as that coin is purchased, then that volume stays there. Just think if Delton and Cindy on their top center went inactive and lost all their points in that pay side. That'd be like throwing away a legacy of lifetime built up. The reason I'm kind of sharing some of this right now is, see, uh, like everybody knows, I'll, I'll soon be 78. Now, I'm I'm very proud of my two sons. They they both have gone, have matured. They do well financially. 
they they really succeed. Uh, they they buy the they buy their coins every every month. They got their volume. They got millions in volume. Uh, but our accounts, Pamela's and mine, are the ones that are the richest. And and they'll inherit those. So I'm I'm thinking about legacy right now. So I, I'm about uh, one of the things I've been kind of toying around. I'm just kind of sharing with my group here. Uh, I, I'm I don't want my account ever to go inactive. Now my account's in a business name, so when I die, my business doesn't die. It goes into perpetuity until that company is dissolved. Same thing with Pamela's account. It's in a business name. Mine's DDD Inc., Diversified Direct Distribution Incorporated, and Pamela's in PJR and Associates Inc. Well, I'm about to set aside some new things in my will, and I'm going to set aside a trust that will continually fund our sinners in perpetuity as long as that sinner is alive. So our volume will never go away. That my children's children, if they so see it, can then come and work on that pay side and get paid enormously. So I'm really going to set aside a legacy that's decide. I've never shared this with anyone. I've just come to this conclusion as an answer to my prayers to how do I, how do I ensure that I have a legacy for my children's children? Where it came to me, the, the Lord answered, answered me loud and clear. All I have to do is keep my account active and the points never go away. So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to set forth to do. And I'm going to actually make a statement in writing in my will. So my sons make sure if I don't get it all set up, that that it will be set up that way, uh, that it will be maintained, and that my children's children can get a benefit from all the hard work all of our group and our team have done together. And I thank each and every one of you. And I hope you can do the same for your children's children. And I pray that you do. Yes, Robert. Hi, Roberta. Uh, I'm sorry, Roberta. Roberta. It's okay. Um, my question is this, because when I started, I used my own personal name and my own social security number to start my business, start this business. And I do have the family tax, um, but how can can I change my original business, which is in my name, to a business or to a trust? Can you do that after the fact, or do you have to start out with the business? No, you can absolutely, you can change your account. You're just changing the tax ID. Once you get your company or trust, established and you get a tax ID for it. You just send in the information to uh uh policy uh okay. compliance and what and support and what you'll want to do is transfer from your personal name into your tax ID into your business name or tax ID. And you can become like mine, even though mine is in my my business tax ID and the right. business name, I I have my recognition name as my name, Bob Reed. So you okay. can choose your recognition name to be your name. And, and but the uh, business is conducted under the tax ID that they have on file. And that's where they'll send the 1099 to, is to the tax ID and not your personal social security. So you can okay. change it anytime. Thank you. That's, that's great. All right. Thank you. No problem. Good question. Yes, Gary Comfort. 
So in other words, when if you do that, would you end up with two business names? Well, I have two business names. You can't have the same business in two different two two separate accounts. It must be individual okay. businesses. Yeah. Okay. So you can own somebody can sponsor two business names. Oh, absolutely. Words. Okay. Thank you. You bet. Okay. Any other questions, comments? If we don't have any, I will bid y'all a good day. I appreciate each and every one of you more than you know. And I wish the Lord's blessing on each and every one of you and your families. May y'all have a bless you, day. Bob. May y'all have a blessed day. Thank you, Bob. Thank you for Thank everything. You, Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Bob. Bye, Thanks, Bob. Thanks for the